In this short video, we will explain the physical cause of surface tension and what happens when you add soap to water. We will show the energetic nature of surface tension by means of an experiment done with simple household objects. A water molecule consists of an oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. The oxygen is slightly negatively charged and the hydrogen is slightly positive. In a liquid, the water molecules will arrange themselves so that the hydrogen of one water molecule will form a weak bond with the oxygen of another. These bonds are called hydrogen bonds. By forming a network of hydrogen bonds, water can reduce its internal energy. So, optimally, each water molecule likes to be surrounded by other water molecules. But at the surface of water, there are no more water molecules to form hydrogen bonds with. To minimize the energy, a liquid body of water therefore tends to minimize its surface area. This is also why a bulge is being formed instead of leaking when you pour too much water in a cup. The effect that creates this bulge is called surface tension. So, what happens when you add soap? Soap molecules consist of a charged head and a long, uncharged tail. When soap is added to the water, the water molecules will be attracted to the head of the soap molecule, and, as such, the network of hydrogen bonds is destroyed. Although hydrogen bonds reduce the internal energy of the body of water, the energy can be reduced even further by surrounding the soap molecule head. This kills the surface tension. Soap bubbles, in and of themselves, also have surface tension. And to see that, we will explain how a soap bubble works. The surface of a soap bubble consists of two layers of soap molecules with their tails pointing out. Between the two surfaces, the water molecules are trapped. Since endpoints to these surfaces are energetically unfavorable, the surfaces close onto itself and a bubble is formed. Reducing curvature reduces energy, which causes the spherical shape of the bubble. Using this device, we can show the energetic nature of surface tension. The rectangle, made out of copper wire, has a movable bar in the center. When a soap bubble surface is formed on one side with no counteracting forces, the bar will be pulled in. The force acting on the mobile bar is given by the surface tension gamma multiplied by the width L of the device. However, recall that our soap surface actually consists of two layers, so we must multiply by two.